Today we're going to replace the serpentine belt on a 2007 Saturn View. It's the 3.5 litre V6 engine. Also works with uh, other years which I've linked below. Let's get started. Okay, so the serpentine belt or drive belt or auxiliary belt, whatever you want to call it, lives right down here. So mostly when we work on things uh, with this engine, we need to remove the uh, air box here and uh, all this duct work. So just get a flat head and loosen this end one here and a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen that one right there. Right, the next thing, just release these two clasps. There's one right here and one back there. That should free this box completely. This part should pull out and then the only thing you have to do is twist this and just wheedle it off until it comes away from the throttle body. Like so. And then we can remove all of that as one big piece. So now's a good time to just check your air filter. This is uh, a little dirty, so you can optionally replace that during this process. And the next part is to remove this uh, housing right here. There's a bolt right here. So the bolt here, another 10 millimeter bolt. Just undo this one right here. And once the 10 millimeter bolt is removed, just disconnect the sensor right here. It should just pop out by squeezing the clips. It's just on the underside right there. Once that's been disconnected, you can uh, wheedle this box out and get it out of the way so we can access the drive belt. There's just a little tube that you just have to pull it, pull it over, then it should come right up. Alright, now we've got that box out of the way, we can see a lot of cool stuff. Uh, you can see my existing belt, you see how it's split down there? <laughs> As an indication, you might have a loose nail or thing just slowly scraping the middle, maybe off to one side, so we'll have to look and figure that one out. But the next real step here is to get a 14 millimeter box wrench and put it over this piece, this bolt right here. This is called a tensioner. This puts tension on the belt itself to keep it taut. By putting a wrench over the nut on the end here, you can also get away with a 9 16th put the wrench over the bolt and bring it back towards the engine that will relieve the tension and allow you to slip the, bolt, uh, the belt off. Before you take the belt off remember the configuration because you will have to put it back exactly how it was before. Um, this is the alternator right here um, you got the harmonic balancer down there this is the tensioner you got AC down there so all these things need to be uh, in the right configuration for the belt. So before you take it off, just make a note and remember where everything was. While you're down here, you could have a peek at your timing belt if you don't know the uh, history of the engine. You could undo a few of these bolts here. They're all 10 millimeter and have a peek at it so if there's any missing teeth. Uh, you got your motor mount here. If your engine's vibrating, it starts making noises like it's not sitting right. Uh, maybe uh, some bushings are loose in here. So use this as a good opportunity to have a look around your car. Now we've done a little bit of work taking this stuff off. You got the water pump in here. If you see a, a bit of fluid or a little bit gr a bit of grease, it might be an indication your water pump's failing and the weep hole is letting out a lot of liquid. So also have a look at that. It's a, it's a good opportunity you've put some work in. So the next thing we want to do is uh, remember the configuration and uh, release the tensioner here on our serpentine belt. Alright, so check it out. Mine uh, snapped perfectly into two, which is quite a rare thing, I feel. <laughs> Might have a look at that in a second. But uh, most importantly, you want to check that the diameter of your new one and your old one are exactly the same. So stretch them both out, make sure they're the same diameter, and then proceed to put it on your vehicle. Um, it's a good idea to check this because if it's not the correct diameter it will um, either be too tight in which you can't get it on or too loose and the engine cannot drive the AC, uh, it can't charge the battery on the alternator and various other things so um, it's a good idea to make sure these are the same size before you put it on the car. Now I'm just about to get the tensioner out here, I just want to show you uh, what I'm doing here. I've put um, over here the belt around the um, well, it looks like the harmonic balancer right there, so that's your main engine drive. 
That drives the AC, which is the one down there, that is also lined up. And I've put it over the alternator right here, which is also lined up. So go under the car, make sure everything's in line up, because what you don't want to do is make sure it's not lined up and then put the tensioner on, you'll damage your belt. So everything's lined up there. I'm going to put my wrench right here, pull back this, and just slip this under the tensioner, and we should be all, all set. But make sure, once it's all lined up, keep some tension on with your finger before you can slip your wrench on and set it all up. It's, it's really fiddly and annoying, but uh, I have faith in you, so uh, you'll be fine. Alright, once the belt's back on, just double check, go under the car, make sure everything is 100% lined up, and you should be fine. So, um, assembly is pretty much the, uh, the reverse of disassembly. Remember things like your sensors are easy to forget to put back in. And uh, yeah, get the get the Saturn back together and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be back on the road again. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the description for the exact parts I used and the tools. And if you don't have any, uh, give them a quick purchase and uh, let me know how you go. Check it out. I just want to share one last tip here. Uh, getting this back on. Put it in like here and just turn it in. Very easy.